Yeah. Let's segue into audio then. Um, I feel for me, like I, my biggest fear in a wedding is like missing the vows. You know, I feel like that's like something that I feel like that's something you really need to get. Um, and we've talked about this before. You've gave me a few great ideas, but uh, yeah, what do you do to capture vows? And um, are you using any lav mics at all in your weddings these days? I know you have in the past. Uh, yeah, what's your process with audio these days? Dude, that is a that is one of the things that wreaks havoc on videographers, in my opinion, at weddings is mm -hmm. miking up people at ceremonies or speeches and things like that. And there are some incredible people on YouTube, especially that are doing that mm -hmm. and are mm -hmm. really, really good at it. Mm -hmm. um, you really got to get in. To me, it, this comes down to a cost thing. Like you've got to get in that fifteen hundred dollars and above range if you're going to offer okay. it as like a hard part of the package right mm -hmm. so i have a workaround for it and i like it better anyways and you know your service is whatever you decide it's going to be so i just am honest and upfront about the way i handle the audio i do vow recordings in fact i did some saturday really good ones mm -hmm. actually with this mic and um okay. so i require it to be done separately than a ceremony mm -hmm. so you know early that morning when i met the couple i said hey can i can I go in a separate room with you and you read your vows? They have them written out on paper or sometimes they'll do a letter too. And you can record that anything they've written to each other. I will record it. Um, and so we record that and then I can lay that over as a voiceover later, you know, mm -hmm. um, but we can get into like, I guess that goes back to my style too. Cause I don't do like full recordings of ceremonies. Right. I just right. don't do that. That's like deposition type videography and there's nothing, <laughs> <laughs> there's nothing wrong with that uh i know yeah, a guy who does that it's different it's just it's a different style it's, it, different it's style. not even a style it's like there's some utilitarian type videographers and we need those people we need people right, who right. will sit and real technical and all about like recording an entire event and it's all polished we need those people because i like those mm -hmm. videos i just don't make mm -hmm. them you know right. <laughs> i make yeah. more like i mean like trailers on steroids mm -hmm. that's basically Absolutely. what i make so yeah to answer your audio question any audio that i do is done completely separate in a controlled environment and that way i can control it later i could add some room mm -hmm. noise if i want to make it sound like it's recorded in the hall or wherever they got married or the cathedral yeah. um and then even right. i have i have clients just on a side note i've had a some clients say we wanted to do that, but we didn't realize that was the package above. And so I drove to their house two weeks after the wedding, took my recording equipment and recorded their awesome. vows and then added it in and just charged them like, I think an extra $300 or something. So it was a nice okay. like upsell and it was cool that mm -hmm. they had that option, right? Yeah. Not that, yeah, not that absolutely. you wouldn't, but you just take a high risk of promising somebody nothing's going to go wrong at this with the audio. It's not like That's you're recording a commercial yeah. or or even a sermon. Like a sermon, yeah. that would be bad if you were recording for a church and the audio didn't work. But it wouldn't be as bad as the pastor's wedding. You get know what I'm saying? There's yeah. going to be another sermon. Yeah. It's like, hey, guys, yeah. sorry we had technical difficulties. You can't say that to a bride and groom if you promise you're going to get their vows live. And same thing with speeches, man. Like, and so like yeah. the, the wording is such that it's like, here are our priorities. You know, these 12 things we want to get, um, but we cannot guarantee that we'll hit every one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. It's not saying like, hey, we're going to do a bad job. It's just like, you know, if nobody tells me the cake's getting cut and I'm over here filming on the dance floor and the planner doesn't say, hey, we're cutting the cake and I miss it. You know, it's not always on you because there's so much going on. Um, and yeah, I've never had any complaints. I've got a lot of great reviews, like 30 plus and. So, but I'm up front too. You know, I have a lot of people say, will you record the full ceremony? And the answer is no. And it's because of the audio. Um, but, and why am I going to record that it if you don't have audio? Fail safe. What's that? I mean, yeah, you can't lose that way because you're going to be able to capture it. Like you said, even after the fact of the matter, if you have to. That's, sure. that's a great tip. Okay. And we do, so, we can do a whole podcast on audio too, by the way. <laughs> I, mean, I know. Oh, yeah, absolutely.